Welcome to the Dikai Mary's Ministries Television. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. This is Reverend Edika A. E. Mary uh, coming to you live. Coming to you live. Yes. Um, in Expect Good Things with God broadcast today, I want to share with you one more thing. In fact, there are so many things we've not even gone half of what the Holy Spirit has been pouring out on me. Uh, I can share with you that as of yesterday, yesterday was June 18. That was my birthday. Yeah, June 18. <laughs> as of yesterday, the Holy Spirit was pumping me up with what I'm going to teach and preach and minister for the next one year. It's already put out here. Isn't that incredible? I can't even handle all the things that he's putting on me. So I'm simply just putting them, writing them, piling them up high and going slowly. I can't catch up with him. He's like just running and I'm just trying to catch up with him. It's incredible. Hallelujah. Today, I want to share with you that when you begin a vigorous, vibrant, when you begin this sophisticated relationship with God in His presence and not always be in a hurry to run away, which was one of the problems that I had, I can't tell why. He begins to bless you with the gift of patience in His presence. One of the things sooner or later you're going to realize is that without you knowing how and how it has come to pass, you will begin to discover that you are now a member of the council of God. Counsel, meaning that God begins to allow you, he begins to allow you into what he's doing. In those areas he wants to. In those things he wants to. He begin to allow you to sense or to see or to hear or to participate in the privileges of knowing, being in his counsel. You don't do too much struggle. To know what the perfect will of God is. Because you are constantly in his presence. You begin to know the seasons of God. You enter into the counsel of God and begin to know divine mysteries and divine secrets. Things that used to be cloudy, suddenly, you have unction into what they really are. Things you didn't know, you know them. In heaven, people just know things just like that. They just know things. When you meet Abraham, you don't need to, 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 to know it's Abraham. You will know. Instantly, you will know that is Abraham. That is Moses. That's Jesus coming. Even here on earth, when you begin to enter into that territory of practice of his presence, if Jesus appears to you, you will know. You don't need to be told. You will know that's Jesus coming. Hallelujah. You will begin to sense atmosphere and know what they are. You don't need any prophet or prophetess to prophesy to you spectacular things to come. 
God shared with Kenneth Hagen many, many years, many, many years ago. He said to him, the primary way I lead my children is by the inward witness. When you begin to be in his presence, the gift of the inward witness and inward voice sometimes, they begin to operate in you. It is the same Jesus speaking to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He makes you aware of things. Past, present, and to come. Especially through the Holy Spirit. God is interested in filling us with the knowledge of his perfect will. So that we do not go through the craziness and confusion that we have to go through in life to get at the source of a matter. There is an open invitation for anyone who loves Jesus and the Father to become a member of his council. So as to know divine things. So as to be able to be successful in this life. Run to God. And God will run to you. And he will share with you the outcome. Decisions that you are about to make. Let me share with you something. Why is it that before Jesus could do any major decision, he spent time all night praying? Yeah, ask yourself that question. It was God, yet he did it. So you have to. I want you to begin to participate in divine counsel so that you can know the things that are of God for you. Not just in this world but in the world to come. Let everyone talk. Let them talk. For you, go ahead and do what God said you should do. At the end of the day, what you've chosen to do will be the best thing. And what they've chosen to do will all fall into pieces. Amen.